First Chronicles 24 Now these are the divisions of the sons of Aaron. The sons of Aaron were Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. And Nadab and Abihu died before their father, and had no children. Therefore Eleazar and Ithamar ministered as priests. Then David with Zadok of the sons of Eleazar and Ahimelech of the sons of Ithamar divided them according to the schedule of their service. There were more leaders found of the sons of Eleazar than of the sons of Ithamar, and thus they were divided. Among the sons of Eleazar were sixteen heads of their father's houses, and eight heads of their father's houses among the sons of Ithamar. Thus they were divided by lot, one group as another. For there were officials of the sanctuary and officials of the house of God, from the sons of Eleazar and from the sons of Ithamar. And the scribe, Shemaiah, the son of Nethanel, one of the Levites, wrote them down before the king, the leaders, Zadok the priest, Ahimelech the son of Abiathar, and the heads of the fathers' houses of the priests and Levites, one father's house taken for Eleazar, and one for Ithamar. Now the first lot fell to Jehoiarib, the second to Jediah, the third to Harim, the fourth to Seorim, the fifth to Melchijah, the sixth to Majamim, the seventh to Hakaz, the eighth to Abijah, the ninth to Jeshua, the tenth to Shechaniah, the eleventh to Eliashib, the twelfth to Jakim, the thirteenth to Hupa, the fourteenth to Jeshabeab, the fifteenth to Bilga, the sixteenth to Emer, the seventeenth to Hazir, the eighteenth to Hapazes, the nineteenth to Pethahiah, the twentieth to Jehezekel, the twenty-first to Jakin, the twenty-second to Gamul, the twenty-third to Deleiah, the twenty-fourth to Maaziah. This was the schedule of their service for coming into the house of the Lord, according to their ordinance by the hand of Aaron their father, as the Lord God of Israel had commanded him. And the rest of the sons of Levi, of the sons of Amram, Shubael, of the sons of Shubael, Jediah, concerning Rehabiah, of the sons of Rehabiah, the first was Ishiah, of the Izharites, Shelemoth, of the sons of Shelemoth, Jahath, of the sons of Hebron, Jeriah was the first, Amariah the second, Jehaziel the third, and Jacamiam the fourth, of the sons of Uziel, Micah, of the sons of Micah, Shamir, the brother of Micah, Ashiah, of the sons of Ashiah, Zechariah. The sons of Merari were Mali and Mushai, the sons of Jeaziah, Bano. The sons of Merari by Jeaziah were Bano, Shaham, Zakur, and Ibrai. Of Mali, Eleazar, who had no sons. Of Kish, the son of Kish, Jeremiel. Also the sons of Mushai were Malai, Edir, and Jeremoth. These were the sons of the Levites according to their father's houses. These also cast lots, just as their brothers the sons of Aaron did, in the presence of King David, Zadok, Ahimelech, and the heads of the father's houses of the priests and Levites. The chief fathers did just as their younger brethren. 1 Chronicles Chapter 25 Moreover, David and the captains of the army separated for the service some of the sons of Asaph, of Haman, and of Jeduthun, who should prophesy with harps, stringed instruments, and cymbals. And the number of the skilled men performing their service was, of the sons of Asaph, Zakur, Joseph, Nethaniah, and Asherela. The sons of Asaph were under the direction of Asaph who prophesied according to the order of the king. Of Jeduthun, the sons of Jeduthun, Gedaliah, Zerai, Jeshaiah, Shimei, Hashabiah, and Mattathiah, six under the direction of their father Jeduthun, who prophesied with a harp to give thanks and to praise the Lord. Of Heman, the sons of Heman, Bukiah, Madaniah, Uziel, Shebuel, Jeremoth, Hananiah, Hanani, Eliatha, Gedaltai, Ramamtai Ezer, Joshbikasha, Malothai, Hathir, and Mahaziath. 
All these were sons of Heman, the king's seer in the words of God, to exalt his horn. For God gave Heman fourteen sons and three daughters. All these were under the direction of their father, for the music in the house of the Lord, with cymbals, stringed instruments, and harps, for the service of the house of God. Asaph, Jeduthun, and Heman were under the authority of the king. So the number of them, with their brethren, who were instructed in the songs of the Lord, all who were skillful, was two hundred and eighty-eight. And they cast lots for their duty, the small as well as the great, the teacher with the student. Now the first lot for Asaph came out for Joseph, the second for Gedaliah, him with his brethren and sons, twelve. The third was for Zakur, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The fourth was Jizri, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The fifth for Nethaniah, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The sixth for Bukiah, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The seventh for Jesharela, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The eighth for Jeshiah, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The ninth for Madaniah, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The tenth for Shimei, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The eleventh for Azarel, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The twelfth for Hashabiah, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The thirteenth for Shubael, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The fourteenth for Mattathiah, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The fifteenth for Jeremoth, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The sixteenth for Hadaniah, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The seventeenth for Joshbekasha, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The eighteenth for Hanani, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The nineteenth for Malathi, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The twentieth for Eliatha, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The twenty-first for Hathor, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The twenty-second for Gedaltai, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The twenty-third for Mahaziath, his sons and his brethren, twelve. The twenty-fourth for Romamti Izir, his sons and his brethren, Twelve. The First Letter of Peter, Chapter 2 Therefore, laying aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking, as newborn babes, desire the pure milk of the word, that you may grow thereby, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious. Coming to him as to a living stone, rejected indeed by men, but chosen by God, and precious. You also, as living stones, are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. Therefore, it is also contained in the Scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he who believes on him will by no means be put to shame. Therefore, to you who believe, he is precious. But to those who are disobedient, the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. They stumble, being disobedient to the word to which they also were appointed. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, who once were not a people, but are now the people of God, who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Beloved, I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul, having your conduct honorable among the Gentiles that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may, by your good works which they observe, glorify God in the day of visitation. Therefore, submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether to the king as supreme, or to governors, as to those who are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers, and for the praise of those who do good. For this is the will of God, 
that by doing good you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men, as free, yet not using liberty as a cloak for vice, but as bondservants of God. Honor all people, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. Servants, be submissive to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the harsh. For this is commendable, if because of conscience toward God one endures grief, suffering wrongfully. But what credit is it if, when you are beaten for your faults, you take it patiently? But when you do good and suffer, if you take it patiently, this is commendable before God. For to this you are called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps, who committed no sin, nor was deceit found in his mouth, who when he was reviled did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but committed himself to him who judges righteously who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. For you were like sheep going astray, but now have returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. The Book of Job, Chapter 22 Then Eliphaz the Temanite answered and said, can a man be profitable to God, though he who is wise may be profitable to himself? Is it any pleasure to the Almighty that you are righteous? Or is it gain to him that you make your ways blameless? Is it because of your fear of him that he corrects you and enters into judgment with you? Is not your wickedness great and your iniquity without end? For you have taken pledges from your brother for no reason and stripped the naked of their clothing. You have not given the weary water to drink, and you have withheld bread from the hungry. But the mighty man possessed the land, and the honorable man dwelt in it. You have sent widows away empty, and the strength of the fatherless was crushed. Therefore snares are all around you, and sudden fear troubles you, or darkness so that you cannot see, and an abundance of water covers you. Is not God in the height of heaven? And see the highest stars, how lofty they are. And you say, What does God know? Can he judge through the deep darkness? Thick clouds cover him, so that he cannot see, and he walks above the circle of heaven. Will you keep to the old way which wicked men have trod, who were cut down before their time, whose foundations were swept away by a flood? They said to God, Depart from us. What can the Almighty do to them? Yet he filled their houses with good things. But the counsel of the wicked is far from me. The righteous see it and are glad, and the innocent laugh at them. Surely our adversaries are cut down, and the fire consumes their remnant. Now acquaint yourself with him, and be at peace. Thereby good will come to you. Receive, please, instruction from his mouth, and lay up his words in your heart. If you return to the Almighty, you will be built up. You will remove iniquity far from your tents. Then you will lay your gold in the dust, and the gold of Ophir among the stones of the brooks. Yes, the Almighty will be your gold and your precious silver. For then you will have your delight in the Almighty, and lift up your face to God. You will make your prayer to Him. He will hear you, and you will pay your vows. You will also declare a thing, and it will be established for you. So light will shine in your ways. When they cast you down and you say, Exaltation will come. Then he will save the humble person. He will even deliver one who is not innocent. Yes, he will be delivered by the purity of your hands. <laughs>